Hi everyone, welcome to this session. Today we are going to look at second order non-homogeneous differential equations and how to solve them. So the form of a second order differential equation is where you have the highest derivative in the equation being the second derivative. When your function f of x, which is here on the right hand side, is equal to zero, it is homogeneous or free system differential equation. When it is not equal to zero, so equal to some constant or some kind of function, then it is a non-homogeneous or forced system differential equation. We can change the form of the differential equation and it can be written as this format using this notation here. Or you can use D operators where your big D, this capital D, stands for the derivative. So it is the second derivative acting on Y, the first derivative also acting on Y. And this notation makes it more convenient to solve the second order differential equation. So if we focus on the non-homogeneous differential equation, and that is where you have some function f of x on your right hand side, that can be written as this form here, where you effectively take the dependent variable out of your trinomial. And the solution to this kind of differential equation is made up of two parts, complementary function and a particular, particular integral. Now if we take the solution and substitute it back into this equation here, you will find you get an expression that looks like this. If we rearrange the terms, you'll see here, all we did was we took the first bracket, that trinomial, multiplied by your complementary function, plus that trinomial multiplied by your particular integral. So you end up with two terms equal to f of x. Now we know that your first term this trinomial multiplied by your complementary function is equal to zero. That comes from the homogeneous differential equation. And we then, in the previous section, solved that homogeneous differential equation looking at your auxiliary equation. So if that is equal to zero, it means that the second part of this expression on your left-hand side where you have your trinomial multiplied by your particular integral, that has to be equal to f of x in order to make the differential equation true. And there are different forms of this f of x. We are going to be looking at where f of x is a constant, where it is a polynomial, so you will have the independent variable in that f of x. Remember, the x just stands for some independent variable where f of x is exponential, trigonometric, and for each of these you also get what we call snag cases, and we'll have a look at examples of those also. Now the procedure for solving a non-homogeneous differential equation is as follows. You have to remember that your final answer is made up of two parts. So you have to first find the solution for the complementary function and then the particular integral and then put them together. So if we start off with a complementary function, here yeah, we use the auxiliary equation in order to solve for that complementary function. Then we find the particular integral by assuming some kind of a trial function. And the trial function is informed by what the form of f of x is. You then find your first derivative and then your second derivative of your particular integral and then substitute back into the differential equation. You are then going to find what the constant values are within that particular integral. And this method is called the method of undetermined coefficients. You then get your general solution, so your final y is going to be made up of your complementary function plus your particular integral and you will have unknown values in there so a and b that is your general solution if you have initial conditions you can then find the values of those constants in the complementary function 
in order to find what your particular solution is. In the next few videos, we're going to be looking at examples of the different forms of f of x. So let's have a look. See you next time.